Rodney Nigel Mayfield. Straight butter dating and relationship talk. Now that's straight butter. Welcome to Straight Butter Dating or Relationship Talk. I'm Rodney Nigel Mayfield. We got a hot show for you today. We got a short show, but a hot show nevertheless. Today's show topic is, can a man be tricked into sex with a disguised partner without knowing it? Let's do it. To the show. Before I get started, I'd like to ask everyone who watches this video to subscribe to this channel if you've not already done so, and click the notification bell and the drop down menu that says all so that every time I upload new video content, you'll be notified. Also, like, share, and please leave a comment. Again, the show topic is Can a man be tricked into sex with a disguised partner without knowing it? All right. In this thought-provoking video, I will explore a controversial and sensitive topic. Can a person be tricked into having sex with someone who is not who they appear to be? I delve into the complexities of consent, deception, and the blurred lines between desire and manipulation. Is it possible for someone to be misled into intimate encounters without their knowledge or consent? Join me as I examine the ethical implications and the importance of clear communication in all aspects of relationships. All right, let's get into the show. I had a special guest, Dr. Ken, that was supposed to come on the show, but for some reason, for the second time in the past couple of weeks, Dr. Ken had some kind of technical issue and was not able to come on the show. We're going to have to rectify that the next time because Dr. Ken has a lot of great insight on a lot of dating topics because Dr. Ken uh, is a pastor and he has been married twice so uh, he has a lot of uh, great information and so uh, I'll have to do this show on my own uh, and I have no problem in doing that as a seasoned man I know a plethora of topics and I know a plethora of great advice based on God's word. All right, now the question that I was going to ask Dr. Ken was, can a man be tricked into sex with a disguised partner without knowing it? Now, I posted a day ago on my Facebook page and I'm going to pull up this post that I posted. My question was different from the question that, uh, from the topic of this show. I had to rearrange the show topic so that the YouTube algorithm can disperse my video because when you're mentioning anything transsexual, transgender, it's like a red flag with YouTube and a lot of other social media platforms. Uh, now, I'm not going to bite my tongue. I'm going to be a loving Christian, but I'm going to speak truth for sure. You have uh, nothing to worry about when it comes to that. My post says, can a man be tricked into having sex with a transsexual and not know it before indulging? And my answer in the same post was, I say hell no, unless he wants to be tricked. And I stand by that statement. As a seasoned man who has dated women in multiple countries and multiple ethnicities, a man who has a lot of experience sexually will never allow himself to be tricked and fooled by someone pretending to be a woman, myself included. Because God gave everyone five senses to be able to rectify the difference between what's real and what's fake, especially when you have eyes to see. I had about 50 comments on this particular post on my Facebook page, and I'll read you a couple of the comments. 
This is a comment from a guy who is a. I'll say this guy. What do you call that? He's a troller. I know him quite well, but he's a troller. Everything I post on my Facebook page, he likes to come with some type of off the wall uh, statement. And I would read you what I said to him, but I'm not. But you had Angela from Memphis. She says, I agree with you. Uh, there is no way that a man can be fooled into having sex with a transgender person. Uh, Dr. Ken Brewer, my special guest for the show tonight, who had technical issues, Dr. Ken says no. He didn't expound on his uh, response, but he, he said no. Let's go down. Denise, I don't know where she's from, but Denise said, very interesting topic. How can I watch it on YouTube? Well, Denise, when you watch this show on YouTube, I just gave you a shout out. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and also share this video. Now, Tony from Memphis, she says, I really don't know, but I am assuming anything could happen in the dark, especially if someone had top and bottom surgery. It's best to abstain until marriage and really get to know the person. Well, I'm going to concur with Tony on the last, the latter part of her comment to the post that as a Christian man, we should uh, abstain from having sex until we get married. That's the God's plan. That's the way God wants us to do. But in the interim, God gave everybody five senses. Now, you can have someone who's transgender stand before me and I can look at that person long enough, look at the Adam's apple. Well, you may say, well, they don't have an Adam's apple. I can listen to that person talk. I know when a person uh, is disguising their voice. Most men cannot disguise their voice to sound like a woman for a long period of time, which means they're going to revert back to some semblance of how they speak normally, okay? God, again, God gave us five senses. God gave us sight, okay? Looking at the transgender person uh, visually, he gave us hearing. Listen to that person talk to determine if they are uh, a man or a woman. And let's just say, for instance, they speak softly and sound like a woman uh, and, and you still can't determine. Now, as a Christian man, I have not always been saved walking with the Lord. So I know how men operate. When men get involved with women, ladies, and you can attest to this, when men get involved with women and the man is interested in the woman romantically, sexually, lustfully, however you want to put it, men have their hands all over women on their butts, on their breasts, on their front parts. And that alone will help a man to determine if this transgender person is a man or a woman. Now, some people may say, well, what if they had top or uh, and bottom surgery, like Tony stated? Well, the thing is, I say this, number one, again, you shouldn't have sex until you get married, but you should definitely ask hardball questions. You shouldn't walk on eggshells when you're meeting people. There's too many sexually transmitted diseases going on in the black community, especially amongst black women. Black women has the highest HIV infection rate in the United States. And you may ask, well, who are they getting this HIV disease from? From homosexual men, from down low men, who are having sex with men anally, as well as having sex with women anally and vaginally, okay? And then the women are still having sex with other men as well. And so it's like the multi-level marketing uh, program. You go out and have sex with three people. Those three people go out and have sex with three more people. And those three people go out and have sex with three more people. And before you know it, you got hundreds of thousands of people with HIV. And do you think most of those people are not 
uh, having sex, most of those people are still having sex, probably high 90s, because they want to get revenge on uh, someone else because someone else gave them that disease. Now, if everybody did it like God told us to do it, get married, don't have sex until you're married, and be faithful to your husband as a wife, and a husband be faithful to his wife, then we wouldn't have these sexually transmitted diseases. We wouldn't have HIV if men were not running up in the backsides of other men. Now, all right, um, again, when men are interested in women romantically, sexually, lustfully, men like to fiddle. We like to take our hands and fiddle on the breast, on the butt, on the vagina, and all of those things. Now, if you had any doubt that the person is a woman as a man, don't let them turn the lights out. If they remove your hand, especially if they, uh, they're in agreement of having sex and you try to fiddle down here and they move your hand back, that should be a red flag in itself. Let me pull out the red flag. Now, that should be a double red flag. Listen, man, stop being so desperately sexually that you're going to allow yourself to be manipulated and scammed by someone who is a transgender trying to get you to have sex with them. Number one, you should do your due diligence always. And my advice as a Christian man is no sex until marriage. But you want to know if the person that you're interested in is a woman, if you're a man. Because God did not create Adam and Steve to bump things together to bump dingalings together. That's not how God created sex to occur, okay? God said that he created Eve for Adam in Genesis chapter two. For this reason, for this cause, man should leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, okay? He didn't say man should leave his father and mother and cleave unto his husband. It didn't say that. Or a woman should leave her father and mother and cleave unto her wife. Okay, it didn't say that. So there are many people that say that the Bible is 6,000 years old. Well, the word of God, it, it has no date on it because God has always been in existence. Okay, but the Bible actually has been in existence on earth for that, that period of time. Not the Old Testament, then you got the New Testament. But God is the creator of humanity which means that God establishes the rules. And so if God says that man and woman in marriage should procreate and replenish the earth and subdue the earth, well, God has every right to establish the rules because he created the product, okay? Now, again, uh, this show is not a long show. I'm about to wrap it up. Uh, the show would have had more content if uh, Dr. Ken came on the show. But listen, folks, stop be being fooled. Stop being fooled. I've seen transgender men, and they're not women. They're transgender men. If you were born with a stick, you are a man. If you were born with a split, you are a woman. I don't care what your mind tells you you are. God created you with a penis, then you are a man. But I've seen transgender uh, men who make themselves up like women, who have the hormone uh, implants and the, the BBLs and all of those things. I've seen them and they look beautiful as a man dressing and pretending to be a woman. But nevertheless, I was able to peek them out and determine that that was a man because when you wear a lot of makeup, to cover up certain bumps, to cover up certain imperfections. When you act too feminine, when you act overly feminine, you give yourself away. And then when you talk in a disguised voice, you, you recognize if you have wisdom, if you have God's wisdom, you're able to recognize those things. Now, some of you may not be able to because you don't want to. And I was looking at a YouTube channel and a man was arrested for killing a transgender man because it got out that he was having sex with a transgender person, okay? 
Now, the man was cool as long as it didn't get out, but he was exposed. Ladies, you have a lot of men who look masculine and you think they are straight, but these men are switch hitters. And what is a switch hitter? They bat both ways. They bat in the butt and they bat in the vagina, okay? So the thing is, ladies, you're gonna have to protect yourselves and remain abstinence. Now, uh, that is God's way. It's difficult, I understand, especially if you've had sex, it's very difficult, but your likelihood of uh, contracting HIV is high as a black woman. It's very high. And as I stated, do you think people are staying at home, praying to God and saying, oh, Lord, I'm not going to have sex anymore. Heal me and all of these things. Yeah, you have some folks who are saying that, especially when they first get HIV. I've heard a lot of stories from nurses that work in hospitals, from teenagers coming in there, 14, 15, 16 years old with HIV. These teenagers become adults and these adults still have sex. So be responsible, be careful. God gave us our bodies to be good managers and most people have not been good managers of their bodies, myself included. Because again, I have not always been living right. I was in the military, I've been all over the world. And so you can guess that I have dated many women in my lifetime. But thank God, I've never had a disease I don't have HIV and I'm practicing abstinence now because I want to do it God's way and so should you. Now, here's a question I want to pose to my audience. Will straight men and women date a trans person? Again, will a straight man and woman date a trans person? Now. Don't forget to subscribe to the Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk channel for more relationship insight and advice based on biblical scripture and reasonable, sensible, and practical counsel. God bless you. Now that's straight butter.